You're listening to the Doug Stanhope Podcast. No, it's a good start with that. Yeah. Good. Since we're in Hattiesburg. I am glad we didn't put that show together. Oh, me too. Yeah, it was, <laughs> it was a fun idea like for a minute, but it's also... Uh, yeah, totally, I never did like... get to that. I was uh, When we talked about being here on a night off in Hattiesburg, which we had already planned, we, we, we were probably going to play the Thirsty Hippo, which is... Uh, it's not a cash cow, let's just say. But it's an off night that yeah. we could either spend here or we could go there and do a show. But when you're threadbare in your soul and about the direction of your career at the end of a fucking unremarkable town tour, uh, <laughs> and you couldn't book the Thirsty Hippo in Hattiesburg, Mississippi. So, yeah, we, we I've harbored a kind of resentment. We stayed here anyway, and then we thought about just sitting there at the Thirsty Hippo going, yeah, we could be performing, but somehow... Hannigan couldn't get the owner to commit to a fucking... Well, we were coming in pretty late to be able to properly... It was six weeks before the no, Thirsty no, Hippo has a fucking weeks. hard... Six weeks. Well, no, he'd been talking to him. Oh, he was I... still oh, I thought trying to get a fucking word back is what... I'm I sure there's the... two sides to every story, but yeah. fuck the Thirsty Hippo yeah. side. We're here. Who, I, I don't we're gonna look up who's you there. I, you guys I, Tracy, look up who's ever there. Have me at the Thirsty Hippo. I <laughs> I don't think there's anything there. I think. No, no. I well, I looked at their website that, and they it seems like they haven't they don't have any events up or anything like that. Just comedy. Just they might not even be open. You yeah. just, <laughs> they uh, it's one of those things where it just didn't work out. So I'm happy to not tour. be working there. I, the fact that we were unable to land the deal. <laughs> It's, I remember Becker and I, where he was uh, trying to wingman for me. He wasn't trying. I, he was forced into the spot where uh, I, I had a hookup. Early days, you know, mullet days. And he's like, I'm not doing that. I'm the, 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 she was less than attractive to him. <laughs> Cut to several drinks later. He goes back to her house and wingmans for me. And then he comes back. That's when we're sharing that shitty fucking bachelor apartment in fucking Mesa, Arizona. Oh, yeah. And he came back and he's like, yeah, like you dropped his standards quite a bit on my behalf. And then she's like, well, I'm not fucking you. <laughs> so he stole her last food stamp out of her wallet <laughs> while she's in the bathroom and left. And he put that food stamp on our on a magnet on our refrigerator. <laughs> It was a different day and age. <laughs> Patreon questions. This is a fucking bonus for uh, for anyone who wants Patreon questions, questions from fans. Well, it's so much easier to do this in a hotel room, a motel room on the road than to do it one by one at a merch booth. <laughs> All right, what's your what's your quick question, well, and we'll give you our long, boring versions of an answer. Uh, the way to, what I do is as I submit the the post on Patreon. So if you're a subscriber to Patreon, from time to time, I'll say, "Hey, anyone got any questions? We're going to be recording a podcast later." And if you want to get on Patreon, we would appreciate it. You just go to Patreon.com/slash Stanhope Podcast. It's as little as a dollar a month, and you can be included in all. Yep. Of this. So. All right, so uh, here's the first we one. We got a shitload. Uh, Stephen Murphy asked to Doug, how does it feel to be cuckolded by issues with Andy? I remember when it first happened. Well, were we in Vegas? Where were we? Uh, no, we, we had done I was it. laying on no. a fucking couch next to all of you guys no. doing it. Where? We, no, we were in Alaska at the Alaska Before You no, Die No, no. No, the first one you recorded. I don't know the first one you put out. I was in the room, and I'm pretty sure it was Vegas. Yeah. I, yeah, that was the first time we had done it s after coming back from Alaska because we did two oh, right. podcasts in Alaska and then we did the. But I was like there yeah. on a fucking couch right next to everyone, and no one, uh, no one asked me any questions. No, it feels awful. It feels <laughs> awful. It feels. I told him to say, call it the cuckold podcast. Yeah. I probably mentioned this, and that's probably why he said it. 
But yeah, to fucking have Chaley sit in the back editing in the van while I'm driving and he's just cackling over my fucking book on tape. And I know he's listening to that. He never, I watch him edit my fucking podcast all the time. Not a sound. <laughs> I can sleep right through it. Nothing. Yeah. Well, yeah. No, Andy should be. Andy needs his own podcast. I've been like him and Levine. I told years ago to start one. Like they're always doing nothing and they're both hilarious. He's what? still doing nothing because Brett Erickson's doing it and they got a guy to edit it from the comedy store. Brett's doing a great job and. I'm helping out with with uh, technical stuff when I can, but it's just us all friends. We've known That's each other. That's the only for a long one I listened to. Talking. The it's only crazy. one I listened to was the one I had to. I was like half fucking drunk or hungover trying to sleep beside it. <laughs> and I, the one I was in the room for is the only one I've listened to. I'm against it. It's video. I now. hate it. Don't... I retweet it sometimes, but I'm sure it's funnier than this. Uh, it's video now. It, well, it's it's only video. That's why we haven't put out the other ones. Uh, you told me that this, you got complaints about I don't want to watch the video. <laughs> yeah. I, okay. And when I went to click on one, I didn't like the whole four camera thing. It's like CNN or those shitty ESPN shows where they have a bunch of talking heads looking at you. I didn't like it either, but I also didn't want it to. I didn't want to watch it. <laughs> well, yeah. Uh, so don't watch it. Well, the, I mean, if, if, I know we, it's we've funny. Got, we're getting less of those now, and it's it's really just uh, it was it was all about Andy, and that's how we came up with the name. Not having any idea, like he's even less capable with a computer than he is when he's lost on stage and he can't find the punchline or something. What it reminds me of, of and why I don't do those interviews anymore, or and the reason we don't have guests that call in where we have a fucking lot of guests that would be great if they were in Bisbee or in Hattiesburg, Mississippi yeah. at the fucking Hojo's. <laughs> but uh, the, the delays and people trying to talk, just even watching, like I love going on Twitch, you know, uh, HD fatties, yeah, Twitch. Twitch. Yeah. Channel. When they're, but not if I had to be involved, like, because yeah. the delay in everyone talking over each other, you don't have eye contact. I don't even do phoner interviews unless it's contractually obligated for, to promote something because it's just that little beat. So it gives me that same anxiety to watch or even listen to that where mm -hmm. uh, what, uh, what you said, what? hang on, there's a delay. But yes, I hate it <laughs> and I'm all for it. Well, there's uh, the, the that technology has come along a little bit, bit since then. There's there there isn't that st uh, staccato between uh, everyone. We kind of just all back up and let Andy keep talking <laughs> till he runs out of steam, if he does, and then kind of move in. But we've had that discussion that Chad and Brett and I that let him go, wind him up, let him go, and then well, we'll that would be we'll the other away. thing that w would be distressing to me as a control freak around Andy, that I'm a professional Andy handler <laughs> where I would be going, no, just stop and say this. You missed what he, I know what he was going to try to say. Yeah. And I'm sure I'd be like that. So I'm yeah. not. I don't know why I just, yeah. So I didn't mean to cut you off, <laughs> <laughs> but I was actually thinking that cause I remember I was there when you guys did one in Vegas and I like there, I think, did you end up putting out the one that you did where me and Tom See, that's was different. There for a We're not, we, we, we didn't do anything with those because oh, well, that's right. okay. that was it's audio like just to go straight YouTube. We're not putting it anywhere else. It's only on YouTube. Got it. And it's all video. Okay. So, but I was, gonna, was I was going to give you kudos cause I was, it's harder than it. Like, like, it's harder than you would think if someone is just like murdering just they cannot stop being funny like to do like the impulse to chime in like do you well he, Andy gets on a roll and yeah. you don't know if it's going to be funny or not he just keeps going and going and going and... but that's yeah why I know how to corral yeah, yeah. him back into where he but was see, going I know what, his that's head. why issues with Andy is us not trying to corral him letting him go and then when they all went to Austin to go do the JT Haversat's uh, uh That's the one I want to watch. If he does since they did that, then they came back and they all had stories where they're all connected where they where you can have Chad yeah. and Brett kind of chime in on things and me going, What was that like? What happened here? Because it's not just Andy. Usually it's just Andy and what happened since the last seven days. <laughs> How many more DUIs? Oh, wow, <laughs> How many yeah. more tickets? 
Um, I guess that so. does make a difference if it's all everybody there having yeah. the same story with a different take as opposed to just like what happened. Sure. Yeah, yeah. What else you got? All right. Uh, Phaedrus Kirk. No, I'm sorry. These fucking names. Phaedrus Crick. Why do comedians play venues? And they put play in parentheses. I think what they're saying is rock show, like rock venues. Um, and he's continues. This person continues. Makes sense for musicians since they play instruments. Uh, apologies for the dumb questions. Uh, but it- well, all right. Thank you for the apology for the dumb question that's <laughs> poorly uh, written out. But if that is what you mean, that we have to infer, a uh, lot of venues. I mean, a lot of comedy clubs. When you work a comedy club, they're gonna drop tabs at a certain. You Explain have a that. you have a Explain hard that. out. You order from a waitress, and you get your jalapeno poppers. And you know, I'm 20 minutes into a set that hopefully goes an hour 10 or maybe an hour 40 if I want it to. We're at a venue, a rock and roll venue, where they're actually. Like the people at a venue, if I'm playing fucking Bob's Country Bunker, Bob gives a fuck about how long he wants me to play longer. He He's getting more money. No one at the fucking Slappy Bones. <laughs> there's no Mr. Slappy Bone there going, go on, keep going. And I'm fucking raking in money here. Mm-hmm. They're all fucking like Chili's people that don't have any vested interest. They want me to be done so they get their fucking tips and then they go out and party. Yeah. I understand that. I'm not against it. You're saying that when you're on stage and they drop tabs 20, 30 minutes before you're supposed to end, if you're on a roll and you want to keep going, in the back of your head, you're going, oh, they're sitting there. No one's getting drinks. They're, they're, they want to leave. There or they, have to, they want to, like, I can't drink anymore. Why the fuck would I stay? Yeah, there's a lot more freedom to a place where they have a vested interest in making money. Like, why would a fucking funny bone waitress or even a manager slap, a slappy bone slappy bone why would they don't get a cut of me selling drinks like a bob's country bunker yeah bob's getting money and yeah the more they sell at the bar the more you're tipping at the bar mm. here it's a fucking it's a tgi comedies and they want to get the fuck out because they get no they should all Every comedy club should be like the Green Bay Packers where they're publicly owned. So every <laughs> fan gets a fucking cut of the stock or something. I don't know. But but also a lot of venues. Oh, you show up and, well, did you bring a sound system? Like, oh, fuck. Yeah. So well, it's, the thing now is I've noticed and Hennigan and I were talking about this, is that some of these venues, when we go in, we we work Sunday through Thursday routinely. Yeah, we don't want the Fridays and Saturdays. We travel or we do this. Fucking hate Fridays Saturdays. But, but that gi- that gives us an opportunity to be in a venue that is usually dark for the night. So Monday they're scrambling to find crew because they've all got to find babysitters or they've got to get off their Chili's job, to but or they want to go to the show. The the people that work these venues see comedy all the time. They wanted like last night there were a bunch of the the guy that Justin there's our green room server. He said, oh, he's he said, cool as fuck. He said, there's bartenders and staff that are in there for the show. And he's like, what the fuck? How come they're not sitting in my section? <laughs> <laughs> but he goes, yeah, man, you guys are welcome back anytime. You guys, your crew is great because they're all drinking like fish. But then that stop point, that stop point where they're not going to. And that gets in your Olivia, head. you've just done almost six weeks. We've done a good half and half of comedy clubs and what you Pretty call close. venues, yeah, rock and roll joints, or like every different kind. We played theaters and and road houses, and I don't know what. To me, sometimes you breathe a sigh of relief that you're out of fucking slappy bones because you know everything's already worked out. There's a green room. There's a way. There's a bathroom in the green room. There's a way to see the stage from the green room. Yeah, they have tickets worked out. They don't go, well, how do we figure out who's getting in? I would say this is a different question to answer at my level. Good, because his question sucked. He already apologized. So answer (laughs) your own question. Well, I think, were you going to ask if I like the rock clubs or the clubs better yeah. it's hard to say because it doesn't really make a difference to me because i know i'm performing for your fans 
whether they're at the club or the rock venue, which is great. But you've your fans are done all. your own shows in rock yeah. and roll venues. Well, that's the, the benefit of doing that is it's, and like you guys know this more than anybody it's such a you can kind of customize the experience a lot more which is kind of what you're saying with the check drops and the like the comedy clubs do things the way they do things and like i don't know i think it's really interesting watching you guys sort of manage almost every aspect of the show besides just the performance at certain places it's you our know, room like, yeah exactly yeah. that's what i, I love it though because it really does it just it's just so cool it's like something a lot of people i don't think uh, think about for it. the most part comedy clubs are only a problem in that the heart out like if i want to go fucking tits up i don't want to either being you know affecting your ability to drink during my show or a waitress's ability to go fucking get out of work I don't know. I would. Like, Mencia like, was fucking legendary for doing like three hour shows past last call. Past check drop. <laughs> right. Oh, with past a check club. drop, but past <laughs> legal last call. Yeah, and yeah. people are like. Yeah. No, I was saying, well, what you're saying with a comedy club, though, is they're used to being done by like 10. The show is only as long. It's so 90 it's, minutes. It's 90 minutes. It's a 90 minute show, but at a club, or not a club, but at like a rock venue. They're used to if they're a bar, they're used to being bar, open yeah, really last late. Call, yeah. And so the staff doesn't resent you if you're having fun of them and you go along. You're keeping time. people in the bar. Exactly. In and a comedy club, money. they resent you for keeping people in the bar. Yeah. <laughs> Which is so it's kind of backwards. But I would say I think one of the biggest issues that I have when I try to set up shows is that I would rather a lot of the clubs that have been around for a while or that are hard to get into you know, they'll be like, well, we can't give you any paid stage time, but maybe you can come and feature, not even feature, but like just do a guest spot and all that. And I'm like, well, I could go to a smaller city near there on my route and uh, find the local comics and have yeah, them yeah. find a venue and have them let me do an hour. And maybe I'll only walk away with like a couple hundred bucks if I'm super lucky. But I know I did an hour. I know I made connections with comics, and I know that I found a venue that I could come back and play and maybe sell more tickets next time. And as opposed that's to... what you're doing on the road is building an audience. That's yeah. why you need to follow Olivia Grace when she's doing her own shows at oliviaisfunny.com. Mm-hmm. All right, what's next? All right, uh, Alec Ray has a question for everyone. I love Alec Ray. Yeah. It's one of my favorite Patreon people. Uh the question is for everyone except I that. hug everyone that tells me their Patreon at the merch booth. That is true. Uh, Alec Ray asks for Shaylee, Olivia, and Tracy. Apparently, Doug's drunk food is pineapple bacon pizza. What is all of yours? That's but, but Doug, you well, no, it's not I, only it's on this tour. Bacon. Yeah, double bacon, double pineapple. No, no. Oh yeah, I switched it's it to bacon. single pineapple, so. double bacon. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. Uh, but that's only been this tour, but it's been almost every night. God damn it! I was I, I was doing so well. Dominoes. It, it really is. It's streamlined uh, now. Mm-hmm. Oh, let's. You want to get and some Olivia's pizza? Olivia's a feeder. So what's your drunk foods, <laughs> people? Tracy, what's your drunk food? Drunk food, or the pizza. The, drunk the, food. What's your what? Um, the question what would you, is, what, what are you your like drunk to foods? Have for, I thought it was both pizza. Come back to me. Do you have, Mine is whatever I'm usually not supposed to eat. Like oh, I have, like a lot of like bacon pineapple everything. pizza yeah. that I didn't eat, and it's everything that's crusts. bad for her. Yeah. IBS. Oh yeah, I can't cheese and gluten make me really sick. But I'll I eat Doug's crusts. That's that's probably been yeah. the thing I've eaten the most on this tour. Is stuff. I'm oh, is it Na- to eat. Nashville. I re- I remember we ordered a pizza during the day, and I go, wow, it's weird eating this sitting up because it's usually. <laughs> <laughs> Olivia, Olivia Grace, on your chest. yeah, it's she's like a, like a feeder, and I'm this 600 pound life, and I'm eating it, just holding my head up as much as I can off my chest, <laughs> scraping the toppings off with my fingernails. There was one night where you had it, you took a piece of pizza, and you went over to the bed, and you <laughs> laid down on your tummy, and you started eating it like it was a pussy, and the <laughs> sounds. <laughs> Same. Uh, it sounded like remember when we watched the cat eat that rat? <laughs> uh, Bertine's cat. Oh my god. The yeah. fuck, per, per, Percy? Yeah, that cat. Yeah. You just sucked the cheese off. You didn't even eat the pizza. It's like eating pussy. All right, that was too gross and easy. Uh, yeah. What's your hey, What's Viagra your drunk joke. food? I I'd say, especially on this tour. 
uh, just fucking going meat or eating. Well, uh, you get. You, I remember wings. you got Taco Bell that was you bought stacks of it. That was Cleveland, and I yeah. woke up to stacks of cold, unrefrigerated, I, above the refrigerator Taco Bell I burritos didn't eat and more tacos. Than I ate. I, there were like two burritos I didn't even touch. And you I didn't even put so them much. in the fridge. I would have eaten them. Listen, Taco Bell now has a vegetarian menu. Not veg is it veg yeah, vegetarian, vegetarian menu. Not vegan, you can, you can but vegan. vegetarian. And uh that was when we went to the Fun House bar. In oh Cleveland. in Cleveland. Fucking yes. love that bar. That was so fun. Next door it was uh, Tracy and Olivia and I, and uh we next door is a Taco Bell <laughs> to the fucking <laughs> this fucking great little bar. And yeah, we fucking bought a ton of food and went back and uh, yeah, it was, ugly. it was ugly. Do you have an answer yet? My ultimate drunk food is like mac and cheese. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, 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 mac and cheese. Oh, uh, like from the pantry in the these mid range hotels, the just the microwave. Like a Stouffer's, Stouffer's mac and Ugh. cheese is so good. If you can get the brown bits around the edges, yeah. All right, well. Yeah, way too many fucking pantries. I don't know where you're browning something in a in-room microwave. But... Better question. I used to eat Velveeta shells and cheese until I would vomit. <laughs> in the good old days. Yeah, no, back, it was from back... being drunk on Evan Williams, but it was... Oh, oh I know, oh, yeah. Back when you could afford the two. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, hey, do you want to do a James Inman one? No. Okay. Inman's, uh, yeah, well, whoever yeah, asked no, about no, Inman. Cut, no, I'll cut no don't cut it. It's just Inman, whenever we can get Inman, we get Inman. That's right. the answer. We love Inman. Just leave it in. Luke Sapp asks, do you know if Louis, meaning Louis C.K., wrote that part you played with you in mind? I can't imagine anyone else nailing it like you did. Oh, and uh, if you never, if you ever need an opener in Kansas City, hit me up. Uh, no, I'd hit up James Inman. <laughs> Then I'd cancel him for you. <laughs> uh, no, uh, he did not write that with me in mind. He said it was an amalgamation of like uh, Mark Marin and a few other people. Uh, but yeah, no one could have nailed it like I did. <laughs> I can't imagine any of those guys being anywhere near what I'm still like. <laughs> Yeah, you've often said that. The only no thing drinks. different is uh, broke, <laughs> which I'm getting down to. Now that I lost fucking Hattiesburg at the Thirsty Hippo, now I'm going to be living back in that car. It's a little. <laughs> oh, it's free trivia night. <laughs> oh, I see why they couldn't. Oh, wait. The Thirsty Hippo has free trivia. Do you remember the Aloft Hotel in Tucson when Bingo was in a coma and they would have trivia night. We were uh, lodged uh, in that hotel for like the- Drinking with geeks, right? Geeks who drink. Geeks who drink. Well, whatever it was, it was right beside the bar that we are sullen and withdrawn, waiting to see if my wife is going to live, and they're doing goofy trivia. So we weren't playing, but we'd yell out the answers to fuck up the whole game. <laughs> you can't do that. Yeah, we can. Yeah, yeah, we can. Uh, so- uh, so yeah, we we could do that at Thirsty Hippo, but I think we're uh, I think we're safer inside the room here, as we just watched a parade of fucking <laughs> tweak tweaker more go by. Uh, yeah, let's 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 lock in like Fort Apache, the Bronx. That's a fucking reference, huh? So Dominic Cummings Hilton asks, uh, I've heard Doug mention his enjoyment of cooking before. What does he like to cook, and does he have any recipes? Uh, that's the one I said ditch. Oh. It's a boring question. Oh, sorry. Oh, and Dan asks, fuck, Mary kill, Chad, Shaley, Hennigan. But he didn't ask who he didn't ask he's who, asking. So it would, in this room, it would be everyone except me has to answer. Uh, I, yeah. I'll let you, do you want to start? I think we should have Tracy start. Tracy. Okay. Obviously, I'm going to marry Shaley. And then, Wait, who the fuck are you fucking? <laughs> I'm going to fuck Hennigan because it would mortify him <laughs> to no end. <laughs> so sorry, Chad. I have to kill you. He'd appreciate that. <laughs> oh, man. You have to answer now. This is yeah, uh, I, I would uh, I'd definitely. Wow, Jesus is tough because then you have to get to the fuck part. <laughs> I would definitely marry Chaley. 
But I, uh, uh, I fix stuff. It makes sense. Like a- I shouldn't be talking. Sorry. <laughs> I shouldn't be tainting the, the, the answer. Oh, uh, jeez. Yeah, no, I, I But, yeah, <laughs> fucking Hennigan or Chad? Uh, yeah, yeah. I love that you're, like, having a real <laughs> tough time with this, with this hypothetical. <laughs> All right, I'll fuck Hennigan because we'll never talk about it again. Yes. <laughs> Much yeah. like when I got really drunk after Chattanooga <laughs> and half fired him by text in the middle of the night. <laughs> we never speak of it again. <laughs> All right, Jaylee, you're my wife. Oh, or uh, I'm your wife. I still am anyway. That's so sweet. Didn't that happen with all the Bingaman sisters? I think they all married Shaylee, yeah, didn't they? they? All married me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you know what? Maybe I can change my answer. I uh, know. I already know it. I, 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 I heard it. What? You can't change it. I heard it. Well, no, I was going to say, I'd marry Hennigan because, you know, once I'm married, I don't fuck anymore. <laughs> 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 Go ahead. Now, I'm overthinking this question, too. That's why I put it on That's you guys awesome. first. Because um, I like, okay, here's the thing. So I... Uh... <laughs> There's an uncut issue in there, too. Oh, wow. <laughs> I don't know that she yeah. knows that. That's yeah, why I put it on her. <laughs> we talking about Hennigan's foreskin? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Always. No, she has a like, selfie with it. This is, it's, <laughs> Well aware, guys. Well oh, aware. wow. Yeah, I don't know. It's it's a tough one because it's like, I mean, who wouldn't want to marry Chaley? You're obviously, you guys have such a great relationship, but that's also why I don't want to say that because I don't want to step in. I don't want to hypothetically step in Tracy's territory because I have as much respect for Tracy as I do for Chaley. And I don't want to kill Chad because Chad's my friend. Oh, wait. And I, I... We can't all kill Chad. Oh, I killed Chad, I guess. Yeah. I never said it. Yeah. So by, de- well, by, I mean, default, by default, yeah. yeah. Right, yeah. Well, that gets rid of fucking danger. <laughs> but I also can't fuck Hannigan because I want to be a professional. And, you know, so I, you know, I got... You'd be willing to. Uh, would I be willing to? No, I mean, I... in the, in the, in the this context is of the question. In the context of the question, I would most want to marry you. I would most want to fuck Hennigan, and I would most want to kill Chad. Right. But I don't... I... You know, Two I don't want three. to chat. No, well, that's you a, don't want to do any of these that. things. That's why it's. Uh... Yeah, ask Tracy. You don't want to marry me. <laughs> Who did you kill? I killed Chad. Oh, everyone killed Chad. Yeah. We all, well, well that's yeah. Why I double down on that, but I don't want yeah, to. Yeah, get Chad. him before he gets you. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> also, another good reason. If you marry him, you'll end up killing him anyway. <laughs> I don't want to ever be married. You guys make it look awful. <laughs> Okay, Doug, uh, Rudy Lemur asks, are you doing Skank Fest South in Houston next year? Uh, I, I wanted, I've, I've wanted to say this for several names because Chaley s- stumbled on a few names, but Chaley mispronounces everything. Antibiotics. And fucking, <laughs> what was he saying the other? I think it was the last podcast. He kept saying something so completely oh, I wrong. Say, I couldn't say something. You're right, because I was editing it going, motherfucker. <laughs> I gotta listen to myself. Oh, it was uh, no, 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 no one can pronounce that. Fucking Mackenzie from Bird Cloud pronounced that right the other night without trying, and I went. I, I, I can't remember what it was, but I was saying something wrong. I think it was repeatedly yeah. something simple. Yeah. Anyway, so he asked, "What uh, are you doing, Skank Fest South in Houston next year?" Skank Fest is a comedy festival that's in New York. Yep. Uh, in connection with uh, the Bonfire and Legion of Skanks. Hey, I've been in some, well, not communication, but like a, a shared uh, Twitter feed with Louis Gomez mm. after Louis the. Louis J. Gomez. Yeah. Uh, after uh, the Shane Gillis podcast. Mm-hmm. And like, what? Uh, 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 but I, I want to do Skank Fest, and I'm, I don't know the dates when it is but i'm far more likely if i'm invited to go to if they do one in houston in houston because that's the biggest fucking hang up with skank fest is fucking brooklyn i hate new york with such a living fucking passion and brooklyn is not even like new york that's like a weirder part and no 
Yeah, I want to do Houston. Fuck yeah. Right on. Uh, <coughs> all right, we got two for Olivia here. The last two. Um, Olivia. I'll answer four. All right. Uh, Olivia. Oh, where the fuck did it go? Hold on. Uh, Kipper Skipper asks, <laughs> what were the worst parts about touring with Doug? Oh, man. That's a... Okay, that's a hard... Well, hold on a second. We need to preface this by saying you guys were on and off again in the summer at the house in home Tucson. Stretch. Yeah. Home stretch. That's I just true. said home stretch and then my drink. <laughs> like, <I was> like, <laughs> <laughs> so you guys had been living in a, in a communal space for a while, writing and hanging out and smoking right. your cigarettes and, and everything. Yeah, well, we spent a, a week in London too and we barely yep, left. That's hotel, right. Just so now it's six it, weeks so. in a van. Um, I would honestly say that I think like the hardest part about touring with you is it's nothing to do with you. That's the thing. It's like I'm usually so. Oh, this is gonna get. Actually, this will get dark. Get dark. It's gonna yeah. get dark. Get so, dark. All right. So uh, I've like. Do you want me to start? <laughs> no. Do you want me to start? Do you want me to be mean so it gives you a reason to be mean? No, I'm not going to be mean. I'm going to be vulnerable. So oh. why don't you come? Oh, okay. He wants to get mean so no, you no. become I... more vulnerable. Okay, well, and then, then why... lash out at him, and then he can shout you down and make fun of you somehow. Oh, okay. Well, no, I, I won't. Take one. Let's <laughs> fucking make it happen. There's four seats in a green room there's a chair and there's a couch that seats three i sit down on one end of the couch you sit in the middle seat that's like <laughs> brendan walsh's bit about going into a movie where there's just one person and then sitting on either side of the only guy have i done that yeah yeah Oh really? Yeah. Does that bother you? Does it makes me scared for you? Why? They, like you, like the dog from the Grinch that stole Christmas that wraps himself like you're, like you're scared to be alone in a green room that you sit in the only oh, seat yeah, right that, next to me. I think that is. Weird. I Wait, think it's a yeah. It's adorable uh, for a minute. <laughs> Are you serious? Does that really bother you? Ah, oh, come on. This is supposed to get your spite up. No, I don't want my spite to go up. But I see, this is okay. Here we fucking go. Yeah, uh, there you <laughs> go. That's what I want. I okay. The hardest part about touring with you is not knowing when I'm annoying you. <laughs> I knew you were going there anyway. <laughs> I see you looking at me when I'm driving. Like, is, is he mad? Is he mad? Or I think you're thinking well, that's it. that's because, oh my God, driving with my parents was the worst. Like, my mom would freak out every time she was behind the wheel and then be mad at me because I, like, just for what because I was just, like, not the person she was mad. You know what I mean? So whenever someone's driving, I have such a, like, intense reaction to anger. Like, I can just, I'm so... But generally, my anger when I'm yelling behind the wheel is not really anger. It's just yelling. I no, like no, to no. yell. That's what I'm learning about you is that you are not you. You don't use people as a punching bag unless they deserve it. You know what I mean? Like, Today, when it was like it would like rain hard for yeah. like three seconds and then stop immediately and I just keep fucking with the windshield wipers on full blast and then completely off and I was going to scream fucking rain or don't fucking rain but I know you're sitting next to me and I know you're going to take that as that you want to yell a lot no but that's that's what that's what I'm talking that's what I'm trying to get to right now is what really drives me fucking nuts and what's been driving me crazy this whole time is how much I hate myself <laughs> like how I I, ha I haven't learned it until now being around you. You're like you're you're my favorite person. Like I love you so much, and like I get so angry at myself because the more I like like being around you, the more frustrated that I get with myself that I continue trying to like push you away somehow. You know what I mean? Like like I like I like the way you say that. Like I look for things that drive me crazy about somebody. I also look for excuses to start disliking people that I like. I bit Chaley on the hand the other night for no reason. You bit Chaley on the hand? Metaphorically speaking, we read up like you do this thing where like you look out for people, and I take it as like who are you talking fucking, to? I'm talking to you. Oh, okay. Like you look out for people, and in my twisted psyche, I go. Chaley's talking down to me. I should fucking teach him a lot. And I've, I've been I've been my own fucking bouncer this whole time where I'm like, 
don't explode on anybody, Olivia. They like you. They've done everything they can to show you that they like you. You don't, don't lash out. Don't push people. And so I've just been in my head constantly butting heads with all of my insecurities nonstop in order to not fuck this up. Like, so when you get furious, I have to consciously go into my own head and talk to the scared kid in me and go you're an adult and doug is your friend and he's just mad he doesn't have his shoes okay you don't have to get him <laughs> you don't and have to he lost you had nothing to do with you're it n- no one's gonna blame you for losing his shoes you don't have to buy him new shoes he's not gonna get drunk and throw file cabinets at you because he lost his shoes like i just it's so exhausting and then i get so depressed because i'm like how fucking broken am i that i've like met people that i love so much and i'm constantly fighting with myself to like not be shitty that's why i'm quiet all the time because i'm like just don't say something mean like you don't have no reason there's no reason to say anything mean but sometimes it's in, like the other night when you uh some the bartender was asking like me to clarify my order and you clarified it for me I got. I was like furious for a second, and then I was like, "Oh, he's just helping. He's just helping out." Oh, because you uh, said streamlining you said the something. Uh, I threw you, you under wanted, the bus completely. You wanted kale. Uh, I'll have the kale salad, but you had told me before the the, uh, the waiter came, you wanted kale only and only chicken, and I know there's but, roots for this. What I'm saying is. Is that when I when I look at them and I look and I go, that's only kale and only chicken because there's candied walnuts and cranberry and all this other shit that I knew I was cutting to the chase. Tell because, her the roots. Because Doug. Bingo. The last tour she was on was similar, but that was every order. I want a chicken Caesar, but it can't have croutons. It can't have Parmesan. Rather than just say, I want just lettuce and chicken. That's it. Lettuce and a sliced chicken breast. Oh, oh okay. That, okay. Okay. No problem. But you do the but, other but thing. But Bingo would just like keep pounding the rock. Like to the point where I need a, 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 a vodka diet soda. and like, But it has to be diet. And you have diet, right? And that is diet. And then she'd still make me taste it to make sure it's diet, which I hate fucking diet soda more than anything because you can't get the fucking taste yeah, out yeah. of your mouth. No, totally. To- I, I see what you're saying. And I'm glad that you clarified it because that's what you... Like, so, you yeah, you hit a trigger with Chaley when you I ordered totally kale and know. chicken. It, it wasn't a trigger. I was like, oh, I know this. And yeah. I, I don't want a thing where like we're all done eating and you're getting your third salad coming back because the other one had candied things and this. And I'm no, like, not, totally. Not that you would do that, but I'm like, oh, I know how to simplify this. Yeah. Oh, then that's only kale and only chicken. All right, done. Because you're, you're helpful. Th- throwing daggers at no, me. No, no, I was talking about a different night where I actually no, <laughs> no, that was that was teamwork in my head because. <laughs> I was talking about the, I think it was in Chattanooga when we were at uh, a bar and I ordered, like, I wanted only the meat. And then you were like, and she means no bread, no peppers, no onions. and like No, no. That was at, uh, that was at the New Brooklyn Tavern afterwards. No, that was in Chattanooga because I remember that was when Brett Brock was there and I almost blew up on him, too. <laughs> oh, that was I almost night. blew up on yeah, Brett yeah. Brock that night, yeah. but I was shit-faced. Yeah, yeah. Brett's a great guy. He, yeah, he just is happy to be involved. No, he's and totally sweet, he, but he he's was, just said something about a dog. I everybody. wish I really could have. Yeah, he, he blew that one. Uh, I really wish that we could have spent that extra day in Nashville because he fucking knows that town. That's like he knows all the people at Zany's. So it would have been fun to like go around and see, for me at least. I don't know about you. You don't like to do anything. But I would have liked to have gone around because there's a lot of new things that are happening in Nashville. But mm-hmm. Brett, thank you for inviting us. Yes. All right. Oh, do, do we finish? Are we? I think I think I, I don't know. With that I just, question? I think just uh, really the hardest thing about well, I, with you is constantly hang reminding on for myself Brett. that we're okay. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's been our, the our entire relationship. <laughs> I know, and I want it. I want to stop it so bad. I hate it. And dry, stop picking your nails and don't cr- sit right next to me in a fucking three seater when this is one at the end. You gotta tell me if that's bothering. <laughs> you. I gotta, I gotta tell uh, Brett Brock when I was when because I I don't want you to listen to this. Why Brett I was Brock gonna is- blow up at him because I got woken up shit faced. When you guys came home and you yeah. said, "Oh, Brett Brock needs a place to crash," and I was like, "Get a fucking Uber!" and you're like, "He lives in Nashville, whatever." And then I went back to bed. <laughs> mm-hmm. No, he 
he was probably going to go sleep in his car, and Olivia was nice enough to offer. It was hey, sweet. I got a, yeah, I, I got that, a bed next to me, and he's the nicest guy. And, and the the background with Brett Brock is, is he does our tour posters, and he's done. Yeah, I, I, I know. Yeah, I I just sweetheart. woke up and I thought it was yet another problem. No, no, yeah. it was no problem. Yeah, I actually, no... you made it a problem. <laughs> Well, I didn't say it in front of him. No, did no, it? but it, it, yeah, I all of a sudden I, I woke up like, just like firing right. Hennigan in the middle of the night. Oh, it's the same yeah, night. It was the same it's night. night. Yeah, I woke up at fucking like two thirty in the morning, and I was upset. This special isn't out, and this. Uh, I think part of it was like, oh fuck, I'm playing the comedy catch again. <laughs> it's your fault, Hennigan. <laughs> Do I do anything else that bothers you? I really want to. No, no, that's no, a question gotta, from Patreon. Come on, you got to give me <laughs> something good. Patreon. You got to give me something good that really bothers you. Something that you. That's do not that about really you. Yeah. Me. Oh Jesus. I, I Tracy could fucking jump in on this. Oh, he takes a shit as soon as we get into the hotel room. <laughs> Everyone's got something. What bothers me about you. You know what really bothers me about you? What? When something bothers you and you don't fucking tell me oh. until it's on a podcast. But that's why that's why you save it for the podcast. Ed. Don't you ever <laughs> listen to the podcast, you dumb idiot? You, you could definitely shower more. Why? <laughs> I don't sleep in your room. I sleep with the Chaleys. They you love said, my smells. Well, hold on now. About, what, are you like taking a bath so you can <laughs> watch the water get more gray as you bathe? You've been around for that. The Chaleys where I've, I get in a bathtub I've, I, I have fucking bathed yeah. for fucking 10 days and then it, it just turns into this grayest murky fucking mm -hmm. oh, man. Yeah, it bothers me that you, you you're drinking your entire did i i don't know if i said this we did laundry when we were in uh cleveland no it's the other place on the river where uh, harrisburg oh. and we did laundry and it was my turn to do i did me and her laundry and it was my turn to do it and then i was folding fucking all the laundry because she folds mine i just chuck mine in a bag all crumpled but she folds mine so i folded hers and i did a count and it was like eight pairs of underpants for her for a week and one for me <laughs> and two pairs of socks and I'm like why do you have so many socks and underwear after a week oh you change your clothes weirdo yeah yeah well, i mean that was a little shocking to me too i was surprised at how little but uh, you know what? I think some of that was uh, you. You were I'd actually had. To I only have you fucking had to one suit. A lot of underpants. <laughs> oh yeah, well yeah, early on. But no, I I, I wear pajamas <laughs> during the day, pajama bottoms in the fucking work shirt, and a suit at night, and that's it. And I throw away a lot of socks. I'll give a complaint. How about this? Here's a tour complaint. I wish the girls would get to a smaller bags. They got no these shit. big fucking bags. Oh my god! I, fucking I, Olivia I'm, Grace I, is the is, worst. But this is Tracy too. There's it is. I'm 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 just saying it because I know Doug would agree with me that if you could just pare it down to a, a roller bag, a, like a carry on. I'm going to defend Tracy on this because Tracy dresses up in fucking like a 1920s poker dealer. Fucking, what are you fucking she doing? has outfits. Jesus All Christ, she wears dude. is a fucking hoodie and black true. jeans she all the time. The same thing. Why do you have a fucking monster hump bag that you have to schlep up to a room every night? Well, I, I, I did your laundry. Where all my jeans and t-shirts are. <laughs> <laughs> Will you change them? Yeah. Why? They look they exactly the same. I get really sweaty, and so I like to I like to change my clothes. When You're I preaching can. to the choir over there. Yeah, <laughs> real like, sweaty. I like, I like, I he's so sweaty and smelly. He's killing the bed bugs that are on him, biting him right now. <laughs> <laughs> there's you know nothing I hate more than getting out of the shower and putting on a shirt that I wore the other day. There's nothing I, I hate more than getting in a shower. Yeah. yeah, you guys. That's why I only wear the same pair of socks for four days. Ugh. I throw them away after I'm not gross. Wait, wait a minute. No, no. Gross comes before that. <laughs> is, that is that it? No, There's one more, one more question. One All more right. Question. It's for Olivia. And the reason, you guys, if you brought smaller bags, I could put more birch in the van. So anyway wow, uh, we're just we robbing you and one all right yeah there's really i tried to lump you in on this so that we could all kind of 
pare down. Well, I don't. I I, I, I have exactly what I need in my. I, and that, if that's the case, then that's the case. Really? Because I I got my socks, I got my underwear, and got my t-shirts. And you, know? you have a fucking storage unit with a handle and wheels on it. It's called a suitcase, Doug. And it's, it's where a you put giant. Your it's the biggest suitcase. You couldn't put that in overhead. You'd have to check that. On it's it. the biggest suitcase you can buy, and there's it's the no same size as a normal suitcase. I can. It's I, the same size as our merch. I bag. have a suit on a hanger. And a backpack. Yeah. And well, that's yeah. for a week. You could put that in a fucking bag, by the way, Doug. You don't have to, like... You, you have a you have a suit on a hanger with a tie and a shirt. And but pants. I have a suit that if and I dropped it, it in mud, you couldn't tell. You because do every morning when you set it down for me. Because I don't care. Bag. I know. It's a suit that's... Uh, it's, uh, it's like, a, again, like a Vegas right. rug. If you puke on it, no one can see. <laughs> All right. Here's the last question from our Patreon subscribers. We thank you so much for, for uh, participating here. Ben Hall asks... When is Olivia going to podcast her review of Caddyshack? Um, I don't know. I guess after I watch it, that'd be probably a good place to start. The the list of Olivia Grace has to watch this movies is so fucking long at this point. You have things seen, they haven't. She hasn't seen Windy City Heat. Yes, I have. Oh wait, I thought that was one. There was there's there's been a few where you we go, were in a thrift store. We were in a vintage store the other day, and I go. Hey, and I pull up this vinyl, and I go, "Hey, you know this disco duck?" And she goes, "Oh yeah, I know All right. that." You shouldn't it, know disco duck unless you had to a, suffer through it, it in is the seventies. Thing that it it became something. It no, it didn't. It did, no. <laughs> for a moment, <laughs> but not, not if you're born in ninety five. No, there's oh, no reason. Shit, yeah, you. Yeah, that's All like right. asking a that's yeah. like asking a six year old. One. Do you remember Mambo Number no. Five? <laughs> 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 no. All right, all right, yeah. I, I forget no, what. it didn't scar my psyche. <laughs> do, do you remember? But it is catchy, right? Well, I thought you were. It is. It's, it's catchy in the way that like, if I think about it for like any bed longer bugs. than I have to, like it makes me want to kill myself. <laughs> that was pretty like. I so you should watch Caddyshack, though. What's the what's no the Caddyshack is the least. She hasn't seen Animal House. Parts of Wait, House and oh, and like, Bill Murray's not in Animal House. Uh, all right, uh, the this point all is, came from her saying, well, Caddy, she, she hasn't seen, there's a million Bill Murray movies. She doesn't like Bill Murray. I, well, she's only I, seen Ghostbusters. I want to clarify my Bill Murray comment. You have it's a million times. I, it's not that I dislike Bill Murray. It's that there have been so many people in my life that love Bill Murray. And 24 like, year life. You're old and in your 40s and you're an angry person and that's why you worship Bill Murray. So it's, I hate Bill We're Murray in our by 50s. association of people who like him a lot. I'll watch Caddyshack. I think that would be actually kind of a fun thing to do. It's like, if, I, I, if I, like you guys Caddyshack's not the starter. The There's probably a What's better one. I don't know, but Caddyshack I've rewatched and you go, it, it, it's sluggish and it kind of goes all over the well, map and, it's but it's not it's more of a Rodney Dangerfield movie than a Bill Murray movie. Yeah, Stripes, but I, yeah, I don't Stripes know, I right don't, there. That's the one. That was way more of a vehicle for uh, Bill Murray. Fletch and Harold Ramis. <laughs> Sorry, I just Fletch. said Fletch just to be a, just to get the fucking. I never got that. He movie. wasn't even never in Fletch. Got that movie. I loved Fletch. I, I just didn't get it. I just didn't think. I know I Bill Murray's not in it, you fucking idiots that <laughs> just stopped the podcast just, just right there to laptop. tweet me. I'll show yeah. him. Clack, clack, clack. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't know. I'll watch it. And Bill Murray's more of a personality even than the, even his movies. That's no. why we love Bill Murray. I think that's it. Hunter S. Thompson. How many of his books did you read? It was his I personality. Have you seen the movie? But I'm saying you fear and loathing, and that's all you need. Yeah, other ones are okay, but uh, all you needed was the personality that he continued. Oh my god! Oh my jeez! So she, Olivia here, yeah, would rather drink with anyone except Bill Murray. Your classic question, Doug. Yeah, yeah. Who would you rather drink with, Bill Murray or? Well, uh, she would not want to drink with Bill Murray because she'd pick anyone else. So who's? Well, that's it. You're, 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 we're about to close, and yeah. you're muddying the thing where now you have to make her pick who she'd rather not drink with than Bill Murray. It's yeah, I know. It's, it is one What's of those Bill things. Bill Murray going to come up again? Ted Bundy, 
She's a serial oh, killer yes. fan. <laughs> Good one. Uh, no, uh, crawl space guy. Who's crawl space? No, uh, uh, Gacy. Not- John Wayne Gacy. No, she's talking about uh, fucking. Wow, I can't remember the fucking. Been in Milwaukee. Oh, Jeffrey Dahmer. Dahmer or Ted Bundy? Who would you rather day drink with? Um. Wow. <laughs> that's actually a really good question. Uh, I don't know. I'd have to maybe say I go with Dahmer because he just he's like. He he always acted like he didn't really want to kill anybody. He just had to so he could get off. I I, I would go. Wow, body. that's a, that's a. Maybe we start this if we get enough feedback on Twitter, on hashtag day drink with. We'll start that. But for serial killers, because I would go because Ted Bundy was a pathological liar, and I wouldn't believe anything he said. And I have too many of those people Casey in my was a life. Clown that throws up half the people that are going to answer would say no, just because the guy's a clown. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't want to drink creepy. with him either. He seemed like he's even for a serial killer. He seemed like a pretty angry guy. I don't want, I mean, yeah, I don't, but I think I could manipulate I him more than uh, Ted Bundy. Oh, yeah. Well, Ted Bundy's just insane. Like, it, well, they're all insane. But I mean, like Ted Bundy's like a not a. Like what a was the what was the the podcast? Oh, I want to drop that too. The Pert Pret Preet Bharara Preet. But uh, called, uh, insider. But the no, but wait. the one was I'll, specifically I'll with George yeah. Conway, George Conway on the the pre podcast. George Conway is Kellyanne Conway's husband somehow, and that podcast was so fucking incredible to listen to that guy talk and his exasperation in his voice. It was one of the best podcasts I've listened to. It's uh, Diagnosing Trump with George Conway, and it's Stay Tuned with Preet. And it's great. I, I love the podcast. In fact, I have become a... Uh, he's on... He, he's. He's on a, a behind a paywall with cafe.com. Before I do Fantastic. my fucking normal thing of forgetting my point, <laughs> point being, he he called Trump a something narcissist, like, um, which is, it, it would uh, it, uh, adhere to Ted Bundy as well. Yeah. Oh, like, he had a clinical name. Almost like a narcissist. Masochist, but it wasn't yeah, he had the the DSM where Trump fit nine out of nine oh, yeah. diagnoses Clearly, yeah. of what you have to have. It's a great podcast just because really you're listening is. to two intelligent people talk and you feel like, like human beings they're, they're and not, not like pundits. Yeah, hyperbole after hyperbole no. and like making everyone feel dumb if they don't agree with them. These two guys and you're like. It's Maybe like listening get... to two people from the Trump administration talk at a bar going, I don't fucking get it. Like, what well, the fuck is going on? Like, this, he said this. And it's... Preet was fired by Trump. He was uh, left over from the Obama administration as, a, as a, an attorney. He was nominated he was uh, or about to be nominated for an assistant attorney general, and then well, he just fucking bailed. Anyway, he didn't that's bail. a plug. He got fired because he said, I'm not quitting. He has to fire me. All right, we're way off topic, and we're way too done with this. I hope you enjoyed this podcast. What do I like to cook? Uh, a lot of uh, <laughs> a lot of uh, omelets are my favorite thing to cook. An egg white omelet with a lot of. I do a three your, pan omelet. Your your chicken in a, in a crock pot thing. Well, that's for football. Anything oh. in a crock pot is easy, but for me. I like uh, like every single vegetable and serrano peppers and jalapeno peppers in an omelet. Parmesan you know, like cheese mushrooms? on the top. No, no mushrooms. Okay. No, fuck mushrooms. But every kind of uh, bell pepper, onion, spinach wilted, Parmesan cheese, salsa. And sometimes I will put four different kinds of hot sauce on the same omelet. In sections, because sometimes I can't <laughs> figure out which one. You grid the omelet so you can. You want me to tell a dirty secret because I'm drinking? Uh oh. Not if I ate it. No. <laughs> one of the hot sauces that I use is green. Yes. And I won't tell you the brand because the brand, if I were a, a, a monarch, an oligarch of this country, I would ban Louisiana just for having that hot sauce on every fucking counter. But the green, I like the green. I came out of the closet. I like the green. I'll never say their name, but I'll eat the green. 
Thank you for enjoying this podcast. Hey, hey let's, get a, let's get a pizza. Yeah, let's get a pizza. All right, take us out. Okay, bye-bye now. <laughs>